Hey, what's up, Foreman? It's Gulahan, it's 3141592, and today I'm starting up a new video series in which I talk about rumors for different games that are coming up, big AAA titles. And it doesn't necessarily have to be about Modern Warfare 3, although today I am talking about that game. And be about any games you're excited about, so Gears of War 3, Battlefield 3, Skyrim, just big name games that are coming out, and, and you want to hear information about it sooner rather than later. And I don't want to throw out rumors that are outlandish, like, you know, the five kill streak in Modern Warfare 3 is, a, is unicorns that fart rainbows, you know, something crazy like that. I, I want to put out rumors that have some, uh, at least seem somewhat feasible, somewhat grounded in reality, and have a little bit of credibility behind them. So I'm going to try to do that, try to give you uh, rational rumors. Uh, another thing I want to point out is this is the second time I've done this video. The reason I am doing this video over again isn't because there's problems with the first video, at least the content that I did, there's no problems with it. The problem <laughs> with the video is the information in there is very sensitive to Activision right now, apparently. They don't want that out there. So you can't list specifics on some of the rumors that I put out there, or that I have in that video. Uh, apparently Machinima contacted a bunch of the directors and said, if you put out these videos, there's a good chance they will try to have your... Uh, channel uh, or they'll try to take the video down or try to put a strike on your channel or try to take your channel down. So I'm not going to mess with that. So it seems like that stuff le is legit and they don't want people knowing that stuff just yet. So you can speculate. I, I will speculate a little bit, uh, but I'm not going to talk specifics. So I'll redo the video. Uh, first couple rumors I'm going to talk about though, uh, you can speculate just fine. It won't be a problem. A couple videos ago I talked about the possibility having to play to pay Call of Duty. Kind of similar to a subscription-based subscription model like World of Warcraft, in which you actually have to pay a monthly fee to play the game. I don't think that's really going to be the case because at uh, Activision's Q1 conference call to its shareholders, Bobby Kotick had this to say. This year's Call of Duty initiatives will result in the best Call of Duty experience experiences we've created to date. In addition to paid features integrated into the platform, you'll see a lot of new services and capabilities that will be provided free of charge to all of our customers. Uh, that that statement kind of comes off like, you know, it's not going to be paid to play. It seems to be more of the premium services that I was talking about in the previous video in which you get access to better content or different content. Um, which uh, They also talk about Project Beachhead. Project Beachhead is the best in class online community and service suite for Call of Duty. So it seems like that's a Project Beach head that's going to be play a hand in, in whatever these premium services are. It might be uh, integrating your stats or your videos into social media outlets like Facebook and MySpace, if, if people even use MySpace anymore, and Twitter, things along those lines. It might also be access to content that other players can't get to normally, like uh, new face paints, uh, uh, updated face paints, updated gear that you can wear, and maybe if they can figure out a way to integrate new gun updates, so extra guns. Um, I could see that being a little bit of a problem, though, if they start adding in new guns. If a gun is brought in and is considered overpowered by the community, you might get a little bit of a backlash. Uh, think about it like this. A lot of people are not really big fans of the FAMAS, and, and imagine if you had to be a premium uh, service member to, to use the FAMAS as your starting weapon. I could see a lot of people from the community being very upset about that. Uh, purely speculation on my part, but just something something I was thinking about in that regard. Uh, the other reason why I think it's going to be premium services, um, uh, if they do do some type of extra payment for content, it's going to be premium services. So they talk about microtransactions being another possibility. It's very popular in Asian markets. Um, it, what, how it basically works is you get a game very cheap or free, or, or you get the game, but the, there's other items in the game that you can get to either by playing the game for long periods of time and building up in-game currency, just like COD Bucks and Black Ops, but it would take a much longer time frame to get the same amount of COD Bucks. Um, or you can just pay money up front. So say you wanted to unlock Scavenger, you just pay $2 and you get Scavenger instantly. Something along those lines. The reason I don't think that's going to be the case is because at their Q4 for 2010, Activision mentioned they're developing this type of game for China. So I think American and European markets are going to be fine. We're going to get the same base model for COD, and, and if we do have to pay extra money, it'll be the premium services model for extra content, whatever that might be. Um, the next rumor, uh, the rumor is that Modern Warfare 3 is going to be a prequel to Modern Warfare 2. 
And the reason this rumor got a little bit of buzz is because Ghost became very popular for Modern Warfare 2. If you don't remember who he was, he was the guy who had the skull. He was a British Special Forces, I think, and he had the skull on his, uh, on his mask that he was wearing. But he died at the uh, halfway through or near the end of Modern Warfare 2. Um, and they thought, you know, that people are thinking that he's going to be brought back or resurrected and they're going to play as him in different roles uh, in, in events that lead up to Call of Duty 4. And information that kind of backs up this rumor is uh, Greg, Fairbra Greg Fairbrass. Uh, he was the voice actor for Ghost. He was also the voice actor for uh, Gaz in Call of Duty 4. He just got done doing voice work for Modern Warfare 3. And he talks about that in a radio talk show, I believe, called Sports Bar. Uh, he, he couldn't go into details about what he did for his voice, voice acting, but he is he just did voice acting for Modern Warfare 3. So, yeah, maybe he did reprise his role as Ghost, and, and, uh, and you're going to get a chance to play with him or play as him in a Call of Duty prequel. Um, you know, other information on that, but I'll update it accordingly once I, once I get info. Uh, next rumor is Modern Warfare 3 becoming Battlefield 3. Uh, this this isn't a, the sources here. I'm not going to say it's fuzzy, but it's just not a whole lot to go on. Basically, uh, the rumor is that in order, one of the things that Modern Warfare 3 is doing to compete with Battlefield 3 is they're making destructible environments and much larger maps. Um, now, I don't know if that's limited to single player or if that is uh, multiplayer. I have no information on that, but when I do get more information, I'll let you guys know. Um, but uh, it I, seems like they're going to be mimicking, or they could be mimicking the Frostbite engine from the Battlefield series in order to compete this November. And I do remember when Black Ops, the first teaser trailer for Black Ops was released, there was a scene in which somebody shot a rocket or an RPG into a hut, and it blew up into a bunch of different pieces, and people thought that was uh, them showing off the capacity for destructible environments. And, and I remember the forums getting extremely excited over that possibility. It turned out not to be the case, but it seemed like a lot of people wanted to see that in Call of Duty. So we might very well see that in Modern Warfare 3. Can't confirm that just yet, but uh, that's a rumor that's going around as well. Um, the next set of rumors I'm going to lump together. These are the uh, these are the rumors I can't go into too much detail about. Um, I, I will say that I will say cover art uh, was released, and it, it it may look very similar to cover art you've seen before in previous modern warfare games. At least at least I would think it might look very similar to cover up previous modern warfare games. Um, and uh, also if if I were going to uh, release a screenshot of the internal beta start screen start screen for Modern Warfare 3, it might look surprisingly similar to Modern Warfare 2. Um, what else? Uh, and if I was going to, uh, you know, I, it would make sense to me, especially, there, this is one thing we can talk about um, that kind of helps with what I want to talk about right now. Uh, they just released, uh, I think a couple of hours ago, they just released a, a trailer uh, that showcases um, the New York City being attacked by some naval ships. Uh, it's it's in this green color skin or whatever, but it, it's the Modern Warfare 3 trailer. Uh, and then somebody says something Russian in the end. So it seems like you know America is still at war with Russia. So the events are falling immediately after the events of Modern Warfare 2, and Makarov is still alive. So you got to go find and kill him. And I imagine this would be the conclusion to this you know little little trilogy, or at least the events that unfold in Modern Warfare 2. You're going to get a chance to take out Makarov. And we see New York in the background. So I would think New York would be a good. Uh, it's going to be a single player level. Level. It might even be a multiplayer level. You might get a chance to play in somewhere like Brooklyn. Um, and you know the popular modes of uh, Spec Ops. I could see those making a return as well. Um, I could even see new modes in there. I know modes like uh, Gears of War 3's Horde mode was really popular. I could see something like that popping up in Modern Warfare 3. A lot of people liked it in Gears of War. Maybe Modern Warfare 3 might might model something as well. It'd be interesting to see. Uh, you, we might see a lot of fan favorite guns, guns coming back as well, like the AK-47, the 1887s, uh, the MP5, which is a lot of people's favorites. Uh, the the G363. I, I know it was in Call of Duty 4. We might might see that come back. We might also see the ability for a lot of different, a lot more customizable um, icons or not icons, uh, attachments. A lot of varying attachments, and a, lot, a lot more combinations that we might not, we might not be used to seeing in the past, maybe seeing it brought up to a, a newer level. I can't really go into too much detail beyond that. Um, 
uh, let's just say there was a lot of information leaked, a lot of information, very specific information. Uh, and you'll, it, you'll just have to go out and find it yourself if you, uh, if you want to take a look. Um, now, what I talked about right now kind of debunks, debunks that prequel theory I mentioned earlier. Uh, maybe you'll get some flashback missions as goes. Maybe that's the case. But uh, you have to wait and see and see what happens. But uh, I wish I could give you guys more details. As I get more rumors that come out, I'll, I'll talk about them and speculate about them in the future. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these rumors in the comments. Uh, let me know if there's other games you want me to talk about as well. And as always, take it easy.